You see an old man carrying a large, beautifully, beautifully crafted sword. His face has seen numerous battles, but it also deep uh, sighted from his eyes. A hero! I haven't seen a new face in a while. Don't worry, I can defend myself on my own. Not every old person is senile and you know, useless. Please stay, stay a while and listen. I have some stories about the good old adventuring days. Well, those stories were, were all good. Da -da. Uh, what do you want to hear? I guess happy story. We can also, we can also select a sad story or ignore him. Uh, that was hero. There once was a boy who lived in, the, in this very small village near the near a river and a waterfall. No one knew his name, not even his mother. Everyone just called him boy. He wasn't very smart and didn't even have special talents or anything. No one cared enough to remember his name. One night he declared he decided to change that. So everyone in the village was asleep. He sneaked into everyone's houses and defecated right in their right in their shoes. Okay, I didn't use defecated. From that day forth, everyone remembered his new nickname, Def defecated shoes, and they used defecated. In the end, I hope you were entertained. Okay. I'm gonna take a rest of the and remember your inventory. I'll keep moving. It's a long way to the boneyard. Oh well. You see an old well standing by the side, of the, standing by the side of the road. You, okay, you can reach into it, examine the stones, drink from it, ignore it. Remember, this is a roguelike. And then, and again, one being a very old RPG, so be careful. Oh, let's examine the stones. Someone drew something from the. Someone drew something on the stones. Dot dot. It's a diagram for a portable rice cooker. Your heroes will never go hungry in the dungeon again. Okay. Table. That wasn't a bad uh, outcome. We didn't die, and we got experience. The road is blocked by a huge, uh, by a huge swarm of blood-sucking flies. Oh, great! Run through them. Throw them away. Do we have fire to kill them? Uh, yeah. Let's go with fire. The third option. Too bad there's no secret option. Too bad there's no secret option E. Uh, fire swarm. One of your heroes lights a torch and starts walking towards the swarm. Dot dot. The smoke seems to drive them into a frenzy. Oh great. I thought they would use a fire spell. Okay, so they've got so they do got weapons. You're in front, do it. That's down. Uh, can you go again? Okay, he moves up. Red team unlocked. First blood. Defeat your first enemy. Are you up? Bit. Oh, that was loud. Compared to the game. First blood. That's the rest for one turn. Okay, then. Um, much more deadly. Um, I guess go up to you. Actually, what do you got? Oh, you, got heal you got two healings, right? Heals all heroes. Heals one hero for your everyday healing spell. Mm, I guess go up to the flies, and then we'll heal. And then we'll heal you. I should just heal everybody. Poison, but that's not gonna matter. You keep going to keep going at the flies while you. Uh, the dwarf. Oh, five's dead. Now you go after. Oh, great. I don't know how the turn system works. Let's go after the flies. Or go after him, the beetle, the crawler. Yeah, I see he's smoking his uh, staff. Oh, look, healing potions, which we didn't need to buy. Which we did not need to buy. See, uh, definitely that helmet of. Resisting poison is definitely a good idea. What does this do? 
Mediocre helmet of mediocrity. Okay, that's funny. Wait, so are these? Are the people wearing the items? No. Um. Dex, intelligence, faith. Life. You definitely should get the life one. Just for the health. Um, I think. I mean, someone that's been watching RPG stuff and just knows RPGs by watching up other people play them and playing them every so often and playing games like them or playing, uh, like, shooters and stuff like that. RPGs are not fantasy RPGs, pretty much. I know all the effects what they do, because they're all basic. It's nice, basic RPG effects. Which is nice. But they don't expand the controls in any way. And the controls are interesting. They're not so easily understood, as you can find out, as you can see by me not being able to understand them easily. How do I switch items? Is it only seven exit? I can also use D-pad for moving around the screen. But I want to switch this item with this item. Alright, that's selected. X? No. What just happened? Ah, I think it was X. Yeah, it was X. X is to switch an item, but not A. A is to select an item, X is to move it. Yet, on the screen, as you can plainly see, there's no such thing as filling in the controls. And it's odd. Yeah, they definitely should have, in the help, have a controls screen to just tell you all the controls, because there's no reason in 2017 to not tell you the controls. There's no reason ever to not tell you the controls, other than, oh, it's in the manual. But I don't think this game came with manual. Let's see if it came with manual on Steam. It has manual on Steam. But since it's on Xbox One, Xbox One does not manuals for it to download stuff. Okay, the manual is being laggy, but yeah, there's manual for it on Steam, which I'll link in the description, I guess, to the Steam page if you want to read the manual. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Does manual even talk about controls? Manual's not very good either. So yeah, manual doesn't tell the controls either. Oh, that's on Steam where all you gotta do is click buttons. Uh, all you gotta do is click, click the left mouse button. You're not having to use a controller, uh, which you can it's not very well adapted to a controller. So yeah, that is weird. You might as well get the uh, this. Select on that, and then press X on the slot. Oh, I can't press X on the slot. I can. So basically, you press X on where you want it to go. Like that's like it. Press X, press X over here. Hmm. Okay, so you cannot scroll into an empty slot. That is weird. Press D or Y to get rid of it. No. You move up to drink it. Okay, but we don't want to. Immunity and that. 
Okay, you were definitely giving us his dwarf. Bam. And what is this? Man, same team. Oh, vaccinating. Health spent of the naturalist. Alright. My, my mind had to figure out how to say that word. Okay, well, let's continue. Almost to destination. But yeah, it'd be very nice that the help thing actually gave you controls. Instead of telling you the basics of the game, which, if you are extremely new to RPGs, and just flat out general, uh, not even just fantasy RPGs, not even just old style RPGs, but RPGs in general, you don't really need, uh, you don't really need the, um, the help all that much. But what you do need is for control, especially for Xbox. Not quite sure how it's like on Steam, uh, like if everything's just a simple right left mouse click, or, or click and drag, we're, we're basically, we're basically, I can click and drag, click and drag an item from my inventory to my character, or to a character. Okay, go. Oh, hello. Can you use abilities? While we're here. No, I don't think so. Alright, let's go. Yeah, that's for battles. Fix the word but deals almost no damage. You might actually do that. Against him. I did absolutely nothing to protect him. Or at least if it did something, it did a whole lot. Or it did or I didn't notice it because like there's no no easy way to notice it. Because there's no real easy to notice it. Uh, skeleton, really? Mm. Oh, you can attack all. You can attack across the lines. Okay, heal everybody. Okay, you just heal him for a lot. Mm. Yeah, that's not pure be mana, and the books are non-consumable. Also, I don't understand how the combat system works. Like, how, how are the two? How are the turns? Determined. Because there is no helpful, very modern um, list on the side of the screen saying, oh, that guy goes, that guy, that guy goes in, then that guy goes in, and there's not the, y y your team goes and their team goes. Take out Mr. Range. Did you keep attacking? Dwarf smash! Dwarf smash! Okay, so I was thinking what are my, my thoughts just for. We can change battle positions, like how? Thanks for telling me, but like how? You don't tell me how! I guess, A X. <laughs> are you drinking the potions instead of switching positions? What the heck? That's a way, that was so much of a waste! We didn't need to do that. Uh, see, that's why you don't tell the people their controls. They make dumb decisions. They could cost their lives in a roguelike. Roguelike should tell you everything about the entire game, or just at least the controls, so you know when you mess up, it's your fault, not the game's. Could very well die from not having those potions, or not being able to sell those potions, because I used them thinking I was switching my characters by using the same tactic of pressing A and hitting X. So yeah, they really need to tell you the controls. 
I mean, they're figureable, but like how many hours it will, about how many minutes or hours it will take to figure them out, to figure them out though. When there just, when there just isn't a need for it. Simple, uh, simple thing to help me is saying, oh, these are the controls of the game. Done. Now I need to figure them out. Because controls are something that you never should be able, to, you should never need to figure out in a video game, ever, for any reason. Alright, what does this do? Magic resistance. Um, does anyone that will actually work on? No. Oh, of course, capes can go over armor, which no, they can't because they take out the, the which no, they cannot since they take out the same uh, sp spot. Okay, let's continue. It's good as dead. Okay, so I want you to heal all party. Yeah, it seems like only one of you can go at a time. Well, they can all go. That doesn't seem fair. However, I guess you can go in any order you want. I guess we can look at the combat system real quick, or if there is one. Elements? Nope. Items? Nope. Heroes? Nope. Oh, ease. The potions, but it is, this game is difficult. We're out of the bat too. We're out, we're out of the bat too. Be it easy. But it's fairly difficult because your entire party does not go. And you can only go one at a time. Or oh, basically, le le no, that's the one I want to say. That's implying that I go, they go, I go. Basically, that's implying that I go, then one of them go, then I go, then one of them go. Which is perfectly fine. What's happening, though, is I can only use one of my people per enemy turn. Uh, I mean, it's obviously balanced that way, but it doesn't feel right. I should definitely be able to use my entire party, or at least they should stagger. Like, I go, they go, I go, they go, based on initiative. Uh, like, RPGs, or work, pretty much. Uh, pay, pay for RPGs. Pin and paper RPGs. Uh, but I always prefer the, I go, my team goes, and they can, then their team goes system. Heal yourself. Well, at least the combat is very fluid, though. All right, moving on. We have potions, but again, since we wasted them, I can't use them tactically. Actually, you know, let's use a potion on the. Uh, yeah, let's use a potion on on the dwarf. We do have many. We do have so many. Okay, go. Like for instance, why would I ever try to defend my characters if I can't if I can't attack over them, um, and if the defense does really not a lot? Also, healing is a bit mute, mute too. The fact that I can't really heal my people effectively because of the, because of the simple fa because of the simple fact that. Um, you know, I 
like getting me on the same turn. So I can either I can either choose to attack to get rid of the enemies, or I can choose to heal. And I cannot heal out of battle, uh, which is also a bit weird, but it makes sense. I mean, it's common video games for that to be, for that to be, for that to be for that, be, for that to be the mechanic. For that, for that to be the healing mechanism instead of being able to heal. Basically, the, a good number of games have it where you have to heal in battle. If you're, if basically you can only use abilities in battle, that's fine. Uh, I don't really like it, but it's fine. Already. I mean, let's see that they artificially made a uh, made difficulty with having only one of your team go, and having only been able to, and having only be able to use healing in only being able to use abilities in battle, in which you can't, you know, you can't, you can only use one of your party members at a time. So if you're too busy attacking, you can either attack or heal. You can either kill the enemies or risk taking more damage, but healing your healing your damage without using a potion. That's a bit artificial to me. Like they really want you to use those, they really want you to use the potions, which uh I mean they should be there they should basically they should grant you more health and they should be able to do it just grant you more health, pretty much. Uh, or just make them rare. Or just like the healers were, or something. Just basically do it some way that. Oh well, you get skill points to spend. How do you? How does this work? I guess you get strength and life. Uh, using the uh, oh, what's it? What is that called? Well, I guess the rune. Okay, you. Actually, you just find any strength. Okay, what what's, what what you open use? What kind of skills do you open? Does your open use? Doesn't say. If there is some. Oh uh, yeah, it says plus four bow. Okay, so yeah, may, might as well put you might as well pull up your dicks a bit and your strength, and you just go and say intelligence and faith. Let's go. 99 or 999 coins. All right. Match up the place. Hmm. Wait, I think all the systems are fine, other than the fact that you can only use one of your party members at a time in a uh, in a in a turn. That's and they can use all theirs. It does. That's just not fair. I mean, at the very least, they get so only make it so they get a pick. They get, they have a pick between all three of their characters to use against us. Like we have to do against them. At least make it fair for them. Or at least make it fair. Unless um, uh, make it fair and a little less cheesery. Okay, any health. Be challenging and tactical, but it really shouldn't be like this. It should be. I should be able to do all my three moves and heal. And they should, for example, get more health or get six of them, for example, like a couple walk from off screen. Like a couple walk from off screen. That would be better than having the unfair system of where I can only move one of my brave people all the time. Which, by the for my first party makeup, this actually works. So now we're in a situation where I either heal or he takes damage. I can't do both. And what can you heal exactly? Yes, there is one turn. See, he come out. 
No, he's still looking at me. Also, where does it show the resting mechanic? Like, for example, if I was able to use all three of my, all three of my uh, people, that would have been no problem. Um, again, the artificially increasing difficulty. I guess you use your health. He's health. I just get back to full. We can buy a little more potions on the way back. So that skeleton moved twice? Okay, that's a bit unfair, but I guess the skeletons, the skeletons, the skeletons can move twice. Yeah, Diana? healing potions at a decent rate. Oh, uh, and also, we still use two healing potions when I didn't need to, so yeah. And that's time for the session, by the way. Oh, you don't need to use healing potions, we can heal on next turn. Almost the boss. Oh, the flow is nice. The flow is real nice. You see in the uh, bright center, it's you in for all the enemies. At least when they're getting hit. It gives you a big idea of their uh, health. I'll grade their frenzies. I'll grade their frenzies. I thought it's not that him anymore. Yes, I feel itch. You take the because you don't have a uh, stone. Oh, great! Why can't we do that? Why can't they do it? But we can't. Why can't they do that? But we can't. That's the problem I'm having. Why can't? Why can't? Why can't they do it? But we can't. Yes, you use something we can actually uh, attack them with, or you use something we can actually attack them against, or you use something where we can act where they're not healing and we can attack them. Yeah, she's too powerful. Take her out. Oh yeah, that's a very difficult challenge. GG, arm in the wind. Awesome tome of adamant. Arm in edge of Im immunity. Healing potions, oh well. All right, you get more life and more strength. I guess you get more life this time, and more... I'm mm, a little more dexterity. And you... Don't really need life. The intelligence and faith. Yeah, I think all potions. Continue. Next to the last boss room. 
Let's do this. Oh, is the tree with the hanging person going to come on and play? Hmm. Oops, I did it again. Hmm. Is Diana? Does that hurt? Hmm. Hey again, for my first run, I got a pretty good, I got a really good, I got a, uh, you know, I got a good assortment of people. And I picked well. Hmm. Remember, I don't play fantasy RPGs. Uh, I watch them on occasion. Uh, but I never really played them, and I've never really played older ones or seen older RPGs. My sister, on the other hand, plays them a lot. Um, so yeah. Feel a hymn of devotion? Are you saying drinking of water? Emoji finish of naturalist? Give me potions. Just pay. See that we got a uh, uh, we got the same amount we used. So what do we got? Connections of an inference to a magical protection don't need. That was a weapon. Oh, studying necklace of brutality strength plus. Plus 17 strength, negative faith. Ooh. Don't need faith. More things to you would be nice. You know what? Yeah, do it. Get the uh, get the necklace, the hat. Uh, we need to our useless cap of thick of thick skin. We need to poison or what was that exactly? Uh, and and. Uh, Magic shield, yeah, poison. Grand curse of resilience. Range. Oh, okay, magical reflex stuff. What is that stuff? Infested. Heavy damage when parasite when the parasite hatches. Okay, it's a parasite. And what else? The hit. Sick. Deal less damage and healing. Uh, per we need the parasite and bonus of shield. They would benefit from the bone. No. We just lost these out. Yep, yeah, that's even possible. I mean, I saw a backpack, so that should be possible. Anyway, let's go to the next one. Actually, let's heal everyone up first. <sighs> I, I thought I pressed egg. Is this weapon? Yeah, so you have to... What's weird is... Now, in my head... When I first looked at the system, I thought, oh, what should you do? Oh, <coughs> uh, sorry, so it was really dry. Well, in the system, what I thought that you did is you selected, the item with, you selected an item that you want to replace by pressing A. Then you go over here to replace the item with A. Unfortunately, it's just select an item and then press, then then press X. Which it works, aside from the fact that you can't just scroll over it and press X, which you seems like you should be able to, but I guess it's not too terrible. Alright, potion. And potion. And if I actually, you see that thing in between the, um, the rune and the weapons? Now if I press X, will that switch to him? Okay, so you just equip with that action. You just equip with X by whatever you have selected, which you can find in the middle of the screen. Okay, well, let's just, I mean, to me, there's so much up on the screen that it's kind of hard to tell, but that's what they're going for. 
Where's the pipe? Where did the pipe go? Uh, where did this pipe go? Don't tell you I just lost the pipe because my backpack was my because my backpack was overfilled just for test. We were switching on an item and nothing else. He still has the pipe in his hand, so maybe it wasn't the pipe. Okay, that's not too bad, just that's good all around her. But I don't want this guy to be really high intelligence and faith. Oh, actually that's even her. So yeah, go ahead go ahead with that. And you get your health back. Also, it'd be nice if I could use the triggers to go up and down to the scroll. If they're not going to be used for anything else. To the defense is 50 defense against... 50% defense against what? Healthy damage. First time that wasn't helpful, other than the controls. There is no real way to compare against items other than to go back and forth, which in this system is not too terrible, but still. Oh, that's rarity. Are we getting no other better weapons, I wonder? Honestly, just seriously came with a bow, which I didn't notice. Okay, let's go. It was nice and healed. Alright, yeah, but let's go. We gotta think. We got no. We got. That's about all we can do. Ooh, you actually need a helmet. And I think we need the third one. We need magic down. Magic defense down. First, I don't really need that right now, I don't think. How about just a normal helmet? Plus two protection. Um, uh, actually, you're getting sniped off because you're in the back. Or in the middle, so yeah, one magic protection would be nice. Probably just one, but it's one better than nothing, so you go ahead. Alright, well, let's do this. You fools, you cannot carry so many items in your backpack. In the cell, throw away some of your stuff. How do I throw away some of my stuff? I try. I don't know how to, game. I don't know how to. I don't see a garbage bin anywhere I can throw it out in. 16, I think. I know what X does. See? No, I'm pressing buttons now, by the way. Oh, 
okay, this is where the uh, controls are. Lunar action, back cancel, put the fur. So I mean, nice if I showed you the controls for the individual menus, though. Bias yes, works. Uh, oh, you have to find the pause button, though. Aha! Holding A! Holding A can freaking drop. And you won't know where the. Th you don't know how to throw your tr things in the trash unless you hold A. Can I do this? Uh huh. That's not how that works. Only when throwing away. You have to hold A to throw things away, but you cannot hold A to swap things. Well, I'll have to get something which I don't know what it does, but uh, we can slightly swap it out. Well, let's just try it. Let's try it for certain. Um, yeah, this hat for the hat. Okay, you can. I told you that. So I've been using a quick. So I've been using a quick swap. All right, let's go. Okay. Fem naga the plague. Feeling sick already? Not really. Goma. You have Oma. Let me help you break out of your miserable existence. Da -da. Good luck with that. Engage, engage, engage. Love poison. We got armor against it. You're going to heal. Oh, that's what he had on him was a book. Right, the weapon slot and the book slot are the same in this game. Right. Uh. Swap. Oh, those are for his items. You can also use skills. I didn't know you have a fork. So items are separate. Are you, items are separate from skills. Yet skills are the first thing you see when you when you get a new party member. Yet they don't tell you what skills how to switch your skills so or where the skills are in the match. I do rely on weapons, which they don't tell you about. That is interesting. Alright, we need to do max healing on Diana. That's all I wanted. It not mean works, but that's all I wanted. Oh well. Hey, you can move twice! Uh, cheater, cheater. It's not fair. You know, I messed up, I messed up. Actually, it doesn't matter. Why can't you heal? Um, do it. Wow, this. That's because I swapped the book on accident. Because I didn't know he was not using anything else. Don't, and why do you giggle twice? Why do someone use giggle twice? It doesn't make it anywhere. Well, we can only go once. Oh, great. Oh, only because I swapped out a book on a complete accident. And I didn't really like to swap out a book. I thought he had a weapon. I thought he had a, I thought he had a staff. Because it's a weapon, not a book. I, I guess it's just me not knowing the genre very well. But still, this is just wrong. I mean, he's, just, he's just wrecking us. 
Which we were just bullying on their enemies and we just can't steal any racks. That makes no sense. I mean, it's a roguelike, so it happens in roguelikes, but still. Oh, come on, Haggy. We will be in much better shape if Tiana didn't die by the fact that I didn't have the book. reason we should have no reason we should have. okay we would we would have lost on the fact that they would that he would have that he would have um he would have just co constantly kept bumping our health out all three of us because he can cheat like that but there is no real re there is no real reason for me having to swap the book out and not being able to replace it and not being able to replace it. okay maybe not being able to replace it no maybe not maybe not being able to replace it in battle because not many games allow you to do that uh, but all the games I do are games like this, so yeah. Uh, but anyway, so that was just a dumb death. I shouldn't have. I, I shouldn't. Deanna should. I should have been able to use the big spell book on Deanna to revive, to heal her more health. But fortunately, I didn't realize I swapped, as I swapped out. I thought that was. I didn't think those books. I thought those books were, were his abilities, not his weapons. Although that again, it could just be my full power for being to, for being new to the genre. But the game doesn't actually really state what's the difference between a weapon. I mean, basically, Trizzy's skills. What confused me what, where he was his books that he was carrying, the spell skills, were the exact same skills or had similar effects to his natural abilities. And the game didn't tell. The game doesn't tell you how to swap between the two. Which I, which the reason why I clicked on that is to find out, is to see if I can swap my weapon, swap back for the book, which I maybe may be able to in the bomb right, but I didn't really, I didn't really get a chance to because I was fighting a, a serpent. But anyway, that that flag shouldn't have happened. Basically, if you ever have, if you ever have to say, uh, if a player ever has to, if a player ever thinks that oh, it's not my fault, I shouldn't have died. You did something wrong with the development. Basically, this game, I like the game a lot, actually. However, I don't like the fact that it doesn't tell you anything in a very, very... It doesn't tell you anything in a way that shouldn't really be a thing in today. Now, of course, there are people saying, oh, games shouldn't tell you anything at all. Not even control, because it's a challenge. Or I just like figuring the entire game out all by myself with no help, period. Which is fine, if you prefer that. But I prefer knowing the basic controls. I like knowing the I like learning the elements of the game because I, you saw how good I was with the elements of the game. However, I wasn't able to figure out the controls fast enough, pretty much. It took me an hour to figure out the controls, and when I was figuring out the controls, I was in a boss battle, and my inexperience with the controls got me killed. That's it. And the controls could very, very easily be fixed with a simple, with a simple addition into the health book saying, uh, a simple addition to the health book saying, uh, you know, showing the pictures of the screens and what they do. And what every little thing does. Which is not that many little things to actually understand, so, yeah, they really need to put a really, they really need to put a health screen in, in there. Uh, because it's just, I, I shouldn't have died from lack of knowing the controls. It's from the controls that I should know. I mean, it's not like advanced, advanced controls, which, yeah, we're not going to tell you off the bat because because you might not be able to play them well, or you just might, or you might not be able to be a cousin to them so quick. It's the basic, basic controls of how the game runs. Now, which by the way I should mention, the game is available for pre-order right now. And, uh, yes, yes. 
Uh, you may available for pre-order right now, and it is available for nine dollars ninety-nine cents U.S. Where in the world is it? Get them soon. It's around there somewhere. Uh, looking, looking, looking. Oh, I saw it. Yeah, it has a, it has a classic cover in which the cover makes absolutely no sense at all for the game. Oh, okay, make, makes sense, but it's still a bit off for the game. But this is how things were back then, and how things are in Japan. Uh, right here. I mean, all, I mean, all those characters are in the game, I would say. So yeah, it's fine. Um, but yeah, I mean, I already have it. But yeah, if you come here, you can, you can, uh. Pre-install the game, and you can. Uh, you can pre-install the game like I have. Pre-order the game, and um, yeah, it's nine dollars ninety-nine cents. With which, for nine dollars ninety-nine cents, it actually is really good. Uh, a bit. I mean, still. I mean, basically, the thing about controls is they can only get you once, and they can only get you for the first time. Um. Uh, however, the thing about controls is if they don't give if they. Basically, the game is so complex, or the game, or the controls are just so vague, you can play the game for, basically, you can, you, you can play the game for a little bit and just say, oh, I don't own the set controls, I'll never play the game again. Or you can spend hours upon hours, maybe days, figuring out the game, and never understand it, even in the slightest. Uh, this game doesn't suffer from that, I'm pretty sure I'm fine with the controls right now. Uh, like, I know what I'm doing right now, but it still caused me a death in the roguelike. Which, for me, is not exactly unheard of. I die a lot in roguelikes. Uh, I haven't really finished a roguelike in, like, the fight that I played. But still, the death didn't seem all that right to me. Like how I envisioned I should have died, I should have died from having a poor lo lay layout, a poor loadout, a poor selection of my party, a poor loadout, which now, which I had, I probably did, although there was a big difficulty spike in between the last battle and the boss battle. The boss battle was just, he just wiped us out, whereas the fights before that, we were wiping them out. Um, so yeah, so I guess I, what I should have done is I should have bought that helmet and I should have bought that chest piece. But I didn't know what I was doing because I didn't want to spend the money. Because I might be able to beat it, which I might have been able to if I had it spell. Even then, I probably did, I probably wouldn't have beat it. But I would still like to have the chance of beating it. But I didn't because I didn't have the spell. Because I didn't know what he left had. Because I was messing around with the options and I thought I threw away my thing when I didn't. So yeah. But again, so... And the simple fix to the control issues, it's simple. All they gotta do is go to the help option and add a page dedicated solely to the menus and solely how you navigate them. And that's it. No control issues. And if you have watched this video, or if you, wa if you watch this session, you won't have control issues because you you have already seen through my, uh, you've already seen through, the, you already seen through my play, uh, and my figuring out the controls did not figure out the controls, so it won't affect you. But, a word of warning, it won't affect anyone else that has not watched this video. It will not affect anyone who has just picked up the game on Xbox. What is on the, why are they even calling it these days? It's not arcade anymore. I guess the Al Xbox store? Yeah, the Xbox store. Uh, basically, they come and play, pick up the Xbox store, they play the game for, let's say, 10, 20 minutes, and they're just dumbfounded at it. Let's say they don't even see, let's say, uh, let's say they don't even see the pause menu. Because they don't figure to press, uh, pause. Then they do. Let's say they don't figure out, they don't, uh, they don't figure out the controls from the little control thing, or they don't say, like I didn't say for, like, the first hour. Uh, they might give you, they might not like the game then, and, or might just have a trouble time playing the game. Um, or for example, I mean, if, if I mean, like, they give you a, they, what do you guys say about the controls about this game is they give you a, they give you really good, uh, uh, they give you a really 
of details on what the effects do, which is a lot, saying, which is saying a lot for a lot of RPG games in general, is there are some RPGs that tell you absolutely nothing about skills, like, um, like let's say, um, Sunless Sea. They tell you absolutely nothing about the skills. Uh, that's a very bad example, but it gets the point across. Was this, was this game? And the skills are all, are all, are all weirdly named. Uh, whereas this game, the skills are very plainly named. They tell you exactly what they are. Um, and there's, little, there's even a little helpful thing saying, Oh, that's what they exactly do. In case you were wondering. Um, but unfortunately, they're... But yeah, I mean, they got that. But you don't have control, so that's the problem. Also, what I don't like is I don't like the fact that... the When you're fighting enemies, there's three of them. And they can all go in one turn, and you have to, and you have to, and only one, of, and only one of your people can go per turn. Uh, I don't like that. What I wish they would do is, I wish they would make it so only one of the enemies can go, and only one of your guys can go. If they want to make it like that, make it like that. Of course, that is from an older RPG that I don't know of, which is very possible because I don't know that part of the industry. I don't know that part of the gaming industry that well. You know, I know that gaming, even though I know, even though I know all the gaming industry pretty well, that part I don't really know of because I never really messed around with it. But anyway, so if, if uh, they're emulating the one of your party goes all through the all the enemies go, just something. Yeah, they did a great job, but I don't like it. Even if they did a great job, I don't like it. Uh, so yeah, I wish they just at the very least be fair. One of them go, then one of your guys go. Or they could make this, or they could make uh, this, or they can make all your guys go, all their guys go, or they can make it staggered, where based on initiatives, like let's say the knight is slow because of his armor, the rogue is fast because lack of armor, the rogue goes first, the knight goes last, even like that, and like oh that skeleton is bigger than the little one, they go slower, the snake skeleton thing is really fast or really slow, you go first or last. Uh, other than being a little too complex to just play in a game like this with going for the very simple aesthetic uh, pix the very simple pixel aesthetic but still uh, they will still be nice to have but anyway so with that out of the way what do I think of pixel heroes uh, by the magic well from the preview I played I like it a lot actually I love it this is definitely a good game this is definitely a good game for just playing uh, when you're doing something else because actually in fact I was playing this game with one hand I can, I can totally play this game with I, I can I can play this game with one hand. Yeah, I mean I know you have to use two sticks and everything, but I can use two sticks with one hand. It's not that hard for me. Uh, so yeah, basically just put my, my my hands big enough to put my palm over the Xbox One controller and then use my pinky to move the left stick and my thumb to use move the right right stick and use uh and then use my thumb to use the face buttons and my uh, D pad's difficult but D pad can be used with the pinky. Or the ring finger, and then the triggers, the triggers and uh, sh triggers and shoulders are uh, the index finger and the pinky uh, ring finger. Oh my, this is a really good game, uh, especially for nine dollars ninety nine cents. If it was any more, uh, I would say the max price for this game would be would be like fourteen, but thankfully it isn't. It's nine dollars. Uh, but anyway, so. Hey, at least it's a. Uh, I gotta say, at least this game's a whole lot better than the last game I covered on uh, on Xbox for uh, uh, Head Up Games. It, it's actually a really good game. Um, really nice too. Um, it, you know, it's definitely good for everybody to to be honest. Um, because it's not. I mean, it's a ro it's a hard road. Like you saw the difficulty spike with the last with the first boss. Um, uh, and you saw how I was having to manage it. Had to ma you, you saw how I had to manage my healing. But I was having all the total time with it, and I'm not a very good roguelike player. Um, and I never really played fantasy RPGs. I play sci-fi RPGs a lot, but no fantasies. Um, so yeah, and even then, this game is a really good game to get into fantasy RPGs, by the way, because uh, it tells you, it explains all the systems pretty well. It just like, doesn't explain how you get to those systems. Um, I mean, maybe it doesn't explain some of the systems very well, but it explains all the basics pretty well. And if you watch this video, you understand it by now, so it doesn't matter anymore. Uh, you understand, so you can do it. So yeah, basically, if this is your first RPG, 
you won't be disappointed. Fantasy RPG, I mean. Fantasy, maybe sci-fi RPG. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, I would say definitely, definitely, wor definitely, definitely worth it. Just be on the lookout for not understanding the controls at first. The weird controls and the uh, not being able to understand them because of the lack of game telling you anything. I mean, what, what I find to be one of the best things ever is on the menus they tell you the controls or on the side of the menus, but they can't really do it for the aesthetic, so it'd be nice to just have the help menu and the pause menu control work too. It's just so you don't explain how the menus work. Because that's my issue, they, the how menus work. Uh, um, but anyway, so, um, yeah, and will I be doing more of this game? Well, it's up to you whether you want me to do more of this game, because I, I definitely can. Uh, and I will be, and I will be, uh, and it won't be, oh, what's the word for it? I wouldn't be forcing myself to do it. Uh, I wouldn't be grudged to do it. Uh, I'd definitely be, I'd have to do it. Uh, but yeah. It's up to you whether or not I should do it or not. This video is popular enough. Alright, but anyway, so, um, anyway, so that'll be it for this session. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate you watching on this video. It means a lot to me. Who else can you not see to leave a comment there to tell me what you like to watch? Tell me if you have any suggestions for, to me if you have any suggestions for a series, or just an I'll play, Pixel Heroes, Bite, and Magic, and generally for no tips, give me some comments for people to do them. Uh, and also if you're interested in, in, and also if you're interested in, uh, and also if you're interested, I do have a tweet which I, in which I tweet out, uh, News by games I'm doing, doing, have done, or news in general, in or news in general that I think I'm still in, like, I guess, RPG news, I guess. Uh, or just now, or, uh, and also, if you're interested in me playing your game, mod, or interested in doing co with me, I do a biz business email to contact me on, or can you use this to friend message if you prefer. And finally, if you have a Quish Brothers video session for the series, or any other, or any other Facebook comments, follow us, something like it. And before we go, uh, I also gotta, I also gotta mention that, um, also gotta mention that this game does feel really I mean the I mean for the graphics are spot on, the uh the sun's spot on, and the immersion is spot on. Not only do you feel like you're playing a classic RPG, but you're feeling like you're playing a good RPG. It came out today. Uh aside from the confusion com confusing menus and controls, and those of those for a sec. Uh you do you do feel like you're playing you know, it does feel like a modern it does you know, it feels like an, it, it has a classic RPG setup, but a modern RPG, hmm, well, a more modern, accessible feel and stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, so it's nice and uh, again the cities are populated, in which uh, there are a lot of RPGs even today in 2017 that don't have very well populated cities. Um, they're rare these days, but there's still some. Uh, it was really, you know, it got really bad when, uh, when 3D graphics started to get really, really good, like around 2007, 2008, then that, then that was really bad in terms of, in, the, in terms of uh, having a lot of people around, uh, but still. Uh, all right, by the way, so yep, that will be it for this, that'll be it for uh, this session is watching, and I guess our session, our session of gameplay videos, and I guess see you in a second.